Hi everyone, Dr. Arit Hickman here from Pain Science Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about the three different types of musculoskeletal pain that you can be experiencing in your body. The first type is the most common that patients are familiar with, which is called nociceptive pain. Nociceptive pain is pain that occurs in the tissues and if tissue has been injured. So for example, if I step on something sharp, if I cut my hand, if you have pain in the area where that tissue is damaged, that is what we call this nociceptive pain. Typically that pain lasts for anywhere from a few hours to up to three to six months, depending on the type of tissue injury. So if you have a very severe injury, for example, you've torn a muscle, you've broken a bone, it takes longer for that tissue to heal, so you might have pain in those areas for the duration of the time that the tissue needs to heal. But once the tissue is healed, that pain should go away. The second type of pain, uh, which you also may be very familiar with, is pain that occurs if a nerve has been injured or irritated or has become hypersensitive. And that's known as peripheral neuropathic pain. And peripheral neuropathic pain occurs uh, in the nerves themselves. Typical symptoms are sharp, shooting, electrical, numbness, tingling. These are the types of symptoms and descriptors that patients will use. Uh, that pain usually will bother you when you're not doing a lot. So uh, the more that you're resting, even nighttime, those, those symptoms can be increased. Uh, nerve symptoms, peripheral neuropathic pain, is also pain that can occur for a period of time while a nerve is injured and then can also go away and should go away when the nerve has healed. The third type of pain that is not as familiar to most patients, uh, but is incredibly common, is called nociplastic pain. Uh, it used to be called central sensitization. And this is pain that is produced by the brain uh, because the brain has gotten potentially in the habit of producing pain, or because there was an injury and now the brain is hyper responding to sensory information that's coming from that area. So a patient will describe pain that is disproportionate to the sensory input. By that I mean, for example, I do light touch on their hand and the patient says that it feels very heavy, it feels very sharp, it feels very intense. Those are not symptoms or descriptors that you would expect if you do light touch on the hand. But if that's the area that the patient has been experiencing pain for an extended period of time, it may be that the type of pain they're experiencing is more this nociplastic pain.